Now let's take a walk and, you know, look at how the different things are. First of all, entrance is here, right? And entrance is here. But last year, this area where I'm standing is where Selection Square was. Okay? So you could look out over here and had that big structure. Not this time. It's all clear. You've got the draft board here, sign there, and a lot of a lot more clear space for people to walk and not feel like they're on top of each other, which was I think one little drawback of last year, but that was obviously straightened out this year. They've got more space, more space. They're still setting up, still making things happen. Now, if you were at the NFL Experience in San Francisco at Moscone Center, you remember these helmets, right? Take a look. That's cool. <laughs> Helmet row. Helmet row. <laughs> the other difference is that last year, when you got over this bridge, in the middle of the bridge, you had the NFL Network and ESPN booths. Remember that? Here, okay? None of that's here anymore. So again, this is sort of a walkthrough. There's no place to stop, which is good because it assures crowd flow through, right? Now, this central area here was the other arch much larger than the arch that forms Selection Square. Note this year there is no arch, see? Everything is outdoors, not a cover. Ferris wheel. Look at that. That is cool. So, wow, there's a lot going on here. This is this is something else. And hey, the tour is not done. We are going. Say, where are we walking to? Selection Square. Right up there. <laughs> now, for those of you who are saying, what's Selection Square? That is where the NFL draft picks are made and the crowds watches, there's a, their seats, and the picks are submitted. I'll show you what that means in one moment. But look, they're still, look at this, still under construction, see? See? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Ooh, hey. The Draft Tavern's down there this time. See that? And it's huge. Because there were a lot of people that were in the tavern last year.
selection square is a long way away. We're going there. Hold on a second. We're gonna walk. We're gonna walk. This is the Social Media Command Center. Last year, it was, if you remember, it was over this way behind me, right there. That's where the Social Media Command Center was. So this time, it's here, okay? And they're still at work. It's a little bit bigger than last year, not too much so. Let's take a look. Now you say, what do they do at the Social Media Command Center? Well, they listen. They evaluate, they do more than just count tweets and content, right? They also listen for negative messages on social media and they also do security monitoring. So they do a lot more than you would think as a layperson, okay? Uh, that's why they have so many people in there so far before the draft actually gets started, you know what I mean? That's why you see all those people in there. Hey, how's it going? Now, this year, here's ESPN and, and, and the NFL Network down here, whereas before, remember I said they were back there? Not this time, they're right here. See that? So this entire area has been taken over and redesigned to handle the thousands of people that came down to Selection Square last year and really created this enormous traffic that was just hard to deal with at some points. This is much better, much different, much needed, and large. It is very, very large. So take a look. Count of three. One, two, three. See that? Folks, that's a big building. And we are almost on the lake edge here, all right? My hotel is right over there. This is much bigger. This really is 20 football fields. This is really big. It really is. I can't wait to see it in action. Stay tuned. This is going to be glorious, isn't it? He nods, yes, because he knows it is.